instead of going crazy looking for jobs because you cannot breathe because you don't know what to do and because you just can't seem to find a solution to all this problem why don't you take a pause and just review the income that you are already getting and trust me you are going to feel like you just got a raise hello guys welcome to the channel my name is Isaura Abru and if you're new to the channel welcome in this channel we talk a little bit about everything but the main goal of the channel is to um, share with you my journey to financial freedom so that you all can win too it's very common for us to be all stressed out about getting new jobs side hustles in order to keep this lifestyle that we are living and in order to make payments so many payments that we have every month and we think that this is the solution to the problem but let me tell you what because i've been in that situation before and i didn't know what to do but to get a new job and a side hustle and this and that i want to share with you my experience through this situation and how I was able to get out of it without even having to get a new job or stressing too much about getting a new job. Let me share with you four tips that are gonna help you really intentionally um, discover what's gonna be the best approach for you to take. First tip is, is this a problem of income or is this a problem of spending? Are you trying to live a lifestyle that you cannot support with your current income? because you have to be aware that there is a balance. You have to be able to maintain a simple life with the income that you have. Everything is going to depend on the accommodations that you have and how you are living your life. If you're living a lavish life and you're not making enough, you are going to feel every month that you cannot breathe. You're gonna feel like you're stuck and you're gonna feel like um, there's no enough money. But maybe taking a look at this and how you're living and how you're spending is going to really help you take a different approach. My suggestion to this problem of realizing if it's a spending problem or an income problem is sit down with your past three months of statements. Sit down with a calculator and a pen and write down the wants and the needs. These are two different things needs are essentials to life these are things like your light your electricity your rent things that are absolutely needed in order for you to have a good quality of life everything else is wants once you do this you're going to realize how much wants you have been having in your life and then you're gonna be like oh maybe income is not the problem and probably instantly you're gonna feel like you have erased. My second tip is mental assumptions do not work. Thinking that everything you need is in your head is not enough. You need a budget. You need a written budget so that you can tell your money where to go and you can feel more in control of your money. I was one of those persons. This is exactly why I'm sharing this with you. I thought I had everything in my head. But when I did the first tip I gave you and I sat down and saw that none of the things I thought I was doing was correct and that I was trying to live a lavish life when I couldn't afford it, then I felt like a rock fell in my head. So assuming that you know everything that you pay is not enough, you need to have a written budget and tell every dollar of your hard work where to go every single month. This is gonna give you room to organize the budget in a way that you can have some savings and maybe if you have some debts, put that money towards debt, which is going to be my next tip. Having savings while having a ton of debts means you have nothing. Yes, there is no way that you can save money while having debts. This is why it's very important to pay your debts and then start savings. I am a fan of Dave Ramsey methods, the baby steps, where he suggests to have at least $1,000 for your savings in case of emergency, and then any money extra after you make your budget is going to go towards debt so that you can attack those debts as soon as possible. 
because once you have no payments once you have no debts this is going to give you a better um foundation to build wealth because we know debts and no monthly payments you're going to feel like you just are a millionaire of course so very important to pay off all your debts in this method really works this is the method i use and i wanted to share with you because it really really works be intentional in everything you spend your money on you see money is a tool that helps us acquire services things items products but these should only be used for things that are really really essential in our life like food not eating out but your food that you can cook at home etc right so it's very important to have a balance and one tactic that i use to always be intentional about my purchases is every time i go to the store to purchase something i think about how much time i have to spend working in order to get the amount of money that i'm going to be spending at that moment that really hits me and it gives me a visualization of all the work I have to do in order to make the money that I'm going to be using at the moment to purchase the item. And then I make a comparison. If Do, do I really need the item or do I don't? Be more intentional. And this doesn't only work for purchases. It works in your life in general. Be intentional because when you're intentional, you are definitely happier because you really are doing things that really have a value in your life. Sacrifice today so that tomorrow you can live a life that you deserve, the life that you want. The most powerful tool that you have right now to become wealthy is your income, is the money that you're taking home every month. So use that money wisely. And like I told you in the previous four tips that I gave you, it's very important to take control of your finances to make this a reality. But be very intentional. Have a vision of what you really want. Because when you have a vision, it's going to keep you accountable because you have a goal, you have a dream. You know why you are going to work every day. You know that your sacrifices are gonna mean something very big at the end. And yeah enjoy the process and i hope this video is helpful for you give me a like subscribe to the channel if you like topic like this one leave your comment i love reading your comment and i see you in the next video